This episode of Chasing the Dollar is proudly brought to you by Sporting Bet. There's no better bet than a Sporting Bet. Well, hello and welcome along to Chasing the Dollar, brought to you by Sporting Bet. Ben Damon is my name. I'm joined, as always, by Adam Pengilly. And, Adam, this week we're going to kick it off with farewelling a champion because Miata will have her final start in the Sandown Cup on Thursday night. What a dog she's been. She's absolutely amazing, Dorberg, and a very special week in Greyhound Racing, saying farewell to the Western Australian champion. I suggest that everyone just sits back, relaxes and enjoys her on Thursday night. We're the last time we get to see her. And she really has put Greyhound Racing on the map to an extent, much like Black Caviar has for the thoroughbred industry. She's gained some massive media coverage throughout her career and it's going to be a shame to say goodbye to her but I suggest everyone just sits back and relaxes and enjoys her on Thursday night. Yeah, 42 from 50 starts is her record. Quite incredible. That night at the Association Cup heats when she went around and broke the track record, you've rarely seen anything like it at Wentworth Park. you just got to see the people who came to Wentworth Park on that night. People that wouldn't usually be there on a Friday or Saturday night and they all came to see one greyhound. Had their cameras, smartphones in hand, taking photos of her. There was television cameras everywhere. It's just what she's done for greyhound racing has been remarkable and it's going to be a shame to say goodbye, but we're lucky that she's been in our sport for such a long time. Yeah, she came back last week after a little bit of a break. She goes into the Sandown Cup final. Let's have a look at the field for it. And she's drawn the three, coming back. Probably fitness was the query last week. You've got to put her on top there, don't you? I do, Ben. I think she's probably going to be a little bit short in the market to be a, a worthwhile betting proposition, but I think it'd be un-Australian of me not to put her on top. Like you said, she did get a little bit tired in the run last week, but I think if she can jump handily, I know she's going to be a bit of, bit of pressure with Destini Fireball and Irma Bale on her outside, but if she can jump nicely, I think she's going to be a very good winning chance. Like I said, probably under the odds, but I'm not going to tip against her at her last race start, and she'll definitely have a supporter in me on Thursday night. Belle Haven's probably going to be my second pick. She was fantastic in the Gold Cup series at Wentworth Park recently. If she can punch along the rails and be within striking distance on the second lap, she's definitely a chance. Going to throw in Irma Bale and Proven Impala for my third and fourth selections. But like I mentioned, Miata's going to be my on-top selection. I'll be cheering her on and hopefully she can get over the line one last time. OK, well, let's get into Wentworth Park. And the first leg of the quaddy on Saturday night is race number five. Here is the field. Now, Johnny Fire comes back from Bull Eye into this, draws the one. You like it? Yeah, you're going to go with Johnny Fire here, Ben, on Saturday night. I think he's only been out of the money twice in 25 starts, so he's such a consistent greyhound. So I'm going to make him my on-top selection here. Coming back in grade from the Bull Eye Gold Cup heats on Monday night when he ran down the track behind Jagger Swagger. Certainly wasn't disgraced in that race. He's not the cleanest beginner, but if he can punch up along the road, and be in the firing line going past the post the first time. I think he'll be pretty strong late, so I'm going to make him my on-top selection. I'm going to go with Dozen Points as the second pick. Now, he's been racing pretty well behind the smart Princess Black of late. Like Johnny Fire, doesn't have a whole lot of genuine early speed, but if he can be prominent early, he'll be doing his best work late. I'm going to throw Vivian Bale in for third. Now, I found the top three in box order, actually. She's a pretty good beginner, but can struggle to run out a strong 500 sometimes. She's drawn to get a pretty soft run here, so I think she might be a chance. And I'm going to go with Deserata for fourth, a place hope from a wide draw. So my numbers are going to be one, two, three, and six. That takes us to race number six, which is the second leg of the Quaddy on Saturday night. Now, this is the aiming for 65 Red Dogs in May race. And, of course, right around the state of New South Wales, GRNSW are raising funds for cystic fibrosis research. And this on Saturday night is the designated 65 Roses race meeting at Wentworth Park. And race number six is a pretty nice-looking one, too. It's not a bad race, Ben. And Magnum Blast is not without a chance either as well in this one. But I'm going to go with Trigsy. Uh, to my eye, I thought he really matured into a top-class guy. Greyhound last week when he came out humming out of the boxes. When he leaves, it's going to take a really special Greyhound to run him down. So he's going to be my on-top selection on Saturday night. I think he's probably favoured a little bit as well with Unexplained drawing outside of him. Unexplained tends to veer a little bit right at box rise, so it's another small favour in Triggsy's uh, advantage here. So I'm going to go with him as my on-top selection. Now, Magnum Blast, we were pretty keen on him last week at an each-way price, and he ran a fantastic race behind Charmed Assassin in the free-for-all. If he can poke up along the rails, he'll be doing his best work late and is definitely not without a chance. Unexplained is the big question mark in the race for me here, Ben. Coming back from the WA Derby last week, it's going to be interesting to see how he backs up after the return trip to Perth. No doubt at his best, he probably wins this race, but I just want to tread cautiously if you're a supporter of his and see how he comes up from that long trip to Perth and back. And Dillinger is the knockout for me. He looks like a potential candidate to lead this race, so one that you include in your wider multiples. Race number seven is the Blue Paws final. Now, Gradence gets about here, has a pretty good record and some good times at the track. Is that where you're going? Yeah, I was arguing and about this race for a long time, Ben, but I'm going to go with Gradence here. If you look at his best time at the track, he's ran 29.80 odd before, which is clearly he's a class greyhound. He did that off a first split of 5.61. So you probably get an idea of um, when I say he's a very talented greyhound, that's where you get it from. 
I think from the draw here, he should be able to get a nice card into the race off the back of Maya Karoma, and he shouldn't have too much pressure from Whale and Joy on his outside. I still think he's got plenty of upside, this Greyhound, so he's going to be my on-top selection. Now, retiring was the fastest heat winner last week, and probably won't mind a wide alley. I'm just leaning towards Gradence because I think he's probably a little bit more improvement in him than retiring, so Gradence will be the top pick. Head Rush is another that's backing up after the Bull Eye Gold Cup series and has the ability to burn across from an outside alley. He has plenty of speed and could be the surprise bracket in the race. And Rocket Banquet gets an ideal draw to figure as well. Well, let's look at the final leg of the Quaddy at Wentworth Park on Saturday night. It's a pretty open-looking race, too. Not sure where you'll find a favourite. Perhaps Mexico City, which went a pretty smart time last time around. Where do you go here, Adam? I think Mexico City will probably be favourite, Ben. I'm going to go with Amadeus Strikes. Now, it all depends how forward she is for this race. She's resuming after a little short let-up. If you go back to the Golden Easter Egg series, Stephen White was nursing her with a little niggle through that series, and she still managed to run second to Spud Regis in the Amber Soli final, which is a consolation to the Golden Easter Egg series. Now, she's not the best Beginner, but if she can get around that first turn unimpeded, she's definitely a winning chance going around down the back straight and coming home to the finishing post. So I'm going to go with Amadeus Strikes on top. Mexico City was absolutely fantastic last week, but I think he'll probably find his place in the market on Saturday night. I don't think he'll get too much pressure from Femme Fatale or Teddy Boy in the early stages, but I think Amadeus Strikes might be able to um, expose a chink in his armour late if he might struggle to run out a strong 500. El Caballo is as honest as they come and is always a decent place chance. He has to avoid getting tangled up with pride of Mykonos early, but he'll be a top chance of finishing in the first three if he can do that. And Lucky on Black produced a huge effort last week and can improve here. All right, that's a look at the quaddy legs. Let's get Adam's best bet on the program. Going to go with Johnny Fire, Ben, in the fifth race. He's such a consistent greyhound. He's back down in grade, and I think the draw suits. So I think I'm happy to make a profit out of him if we back him on Saturday night. And some value for us? She can be a little hard to catch at some times. Going to go with race nine, number seven, Pepper Khan. I think she's maturing into a greyhound that's got plenty of ability and from a kennel that's absolutely firing at the moment. It's a little speed around her, but I'm happy to spec her at an each-way price. All right, take us through your quaddy. Going to go with Johnny Fire and dozen points in the first leg, Ben. The second leg's a very high-class race. We're going to include Trigsy, Magnum Blast and Unexplained as a support cast. Gradence retiring and Head Rush look the three to beat in the Blue Paws final. And going to come home with Amadeus Strikes and Mexico City. OK, thank you very much, Adam. Should be a nice night there on Saturday night with the 65 Roses charity night. Yeah, it should be a fantastic night. I'm looking forward to Trigsy going around as well. Yep, certainly. And we'll see you next time on Chasing the Dollar. This episode of Chasing the Dollar is proudly brought to you by Sporting Bet. There's no better bet than a sporting bet.